What's up? Hey guys, it's Sivan. In this video, I want to show you how to smooth scroll on your Unbounce landing page so you can scroll to any element on your page you want to. I'm going to first show you how to scroll in general, and then I'm going to show you how to add the JavaScript code so you can smoothly scroll, so it doesn't just boom, instantly plummet to the part you want it to go to. So let's jump straight into it. I have our keto diet landing page here we've been working on since the start. And here's what it looks like. And what I did was I added these little menus by adding a button. So imagine this is the menu, right? If someone clicks on testimonials, it's going to scroll down. Um, and I've added this little menu as well to give some variety. And now I'm going to show you how to scroll. So the first thing you have to do is just select where you want the scroll to go down to. So when I click testimonials, I want it to go down to something like this, right? At the very top of the headline. I don't want it to go like this. I don't want it to go like that, right? Imagine that's the, the, the scroll part. I want it to go straight at the top here of this box. So what I'm going to do is click on this section. I'm going to scroll down here on the right hand side under properties and copy the element ID. I'm going to take that ID, going to control C for copy, going to go up, click on this button, make sure it says go to URL and paste it here in the URL slot. And that's it. I'm going to wait a little bit because sometimes it just doesn't go through. Make sure it says save. When it says save, that's when you know that it's been successfully added. And as you can see, it still didn't add. So sometimes you may have to put it in, play around. Okay, there you go. So now it's added. So now it says save, which means this has successfully been added. So if I go back, it says there. So now we can do the same for what we do. So scroll down. I want it to go to something like this, for instance. Oops, click the wrong button. I want it to go to what we do like that. So again, I'm going to take the whole box, scroll down, get the ID, scroll back up, go to what we do and paste it here, right? Wait for it a bit to load and that should be fine. Uh, so we can hit save. So now let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to republish the page and let me just show you right step by step what this is going to look like. So you have an idea of, for each step of the way. So we have that. Give it a second. We'll say got it. I will simply refresh this page. And now when I click on testimonials, I instantly go to the bottom, right? Instantly go here. Um, as opposed to before, right? If it, it wouldn't do anything. So um, let's look at one more thing. Let's see what happens if we want to say scroll it to this section or this section. And then I'm going to show you how to add the smooth scroll element. So I've added here a text just for some variety in case you don't want to use buttons as the menu. And let's suppose in this case, I wanted to scroll down for testimonials. I wanted to scroll down to this part, right? Let's say here, right? right like right on top of the boxes. Okay. In that case, I'm going to take the box element. It doesn't matter which one because they're all on the same on the same axis here. I'll take that, take the ID, copy it. I'm going to click on this text. I need to highlight the specific text I want to add the link to. Go to action. Again, make sure it says go to URL, paste it there and do that. Click on something. And as you can see here now, it's blue, which means it's a link. It's a hyperlink that's going to link it to the testimonials part of the page. Okay. So we got that down. So let's do the same for what we do. Let's say I want the what we do to go down to you know, um, this here, like this image. Okay. I want, I, I, I don't want to see what we do. I wanted to scroll down to this image just as an example. I'm going to scroll down, grab this image ID. I'm going to copy it, scroll back up, select the text that I want to link it to go to action and paste it here and just click something. So it saves. And as you can see here now that's blue as well. So let's save that and see what that's going to look like now. As you recall, before our buttons, they are our words. They didn't do anything, right? If you clicked on them, nothing happened. So let's see where they're going to scroll to now. Just give it a second to publish. I'm gonna refresh this page, and gonna click on testimonials. So boom, right? As as you recall, we didn't want it to go like this. We wanted it to go down to the box, and that's exactly what happened when you clicked here. And then same for what we do. It's going to scroll to the to the uh, image right away, right? Whereas if you click it there, it's going to scroll to the top of the column um, section. 
So now the question is, how do you make it smooth scroll? Because when I click on testimonials, I don't want it to instantly go down, right? You want to be able to control to make it go smoothly. Like when you click on it, go like this, boom, right? Testimonials. So the way you do that is you add a little piece of code. I will provide this URL for you uh, because YouTube won't allow me to paste the code um, into the description. So I'll link you this URL and this URL actually has the code. Uh, this is unbounced provided code. So you're going to take this code, okay? that they give you, you're going to copy it, you're going to go to your landing page, go to JavaScript, select JavaScript 1, well, we already have it, if you don't, you will simply uh, select new JavaScript sheet. Make sure it says before body and tag, this was our favicon that we did before, right? If, if you recall, we have that there. So make sure it says before body and tag, you can click enter and paste the entire code here. Make sure you select jQuery here on the bottom left, this top one, um, jQuery 1.4, oops. Uh, so just check mark that, jQuery 1.4.2, okay? And that's pretty much it. You can click save code and you're done. Now this is the speed in milliseconds for how long it will take to get to the bottom of the page. So in this case, it's 1000 milliseconds. So let's just, again, let's just take a look and see what happens. So I clicked save, I'm gonna click save, and I'm going to republish the page. So let's do two more things. One is we're going to just see what this page now looks like with the smooth scroll. And then we're going to adjust the speed to show you what it looks like so that you can um, know what you want to, uh, how to change it if you want to increase or decrease the speed. So I'm gonna refresh the page. And now if I click on testimonials, as you can see, it scrolls, right? It took one second, 1000 milliseconds to scroll down to the bottom of, from here to wherever we wanted to go to. Now, if I click anywhere, this will apply to anywhere. So any of the scrolling links that I set up, as you can see in here now, it doesn't just immediately flop down. So let me now just quickly show you one last thing, how you can adjust the speed. So this is just milliseconds, right? So if I make this, for instance, 5,000, right? That's gonna be incredibly slow. If I make it 200 milliseconds, it's gonna be incredibly fast. But just to give you an idea, so I made this now 5,000 milliseconds, okay? so. It should take about five seconds, or five seconds it should take exactly, to go from me clicking this button to the actual part where I want it to go. So let's see if that's what happens. I'm gonna refresh, I'm gonna click testimonials. One, two, three, four, five, right about, okay? Um, and that's it, That that's all it is. It will apply to every link. Um, yeah, and you have to wait for the scroll to actually go by before you can do anything. If I click on testimonials, yeah, so you have to wait for the scroll to go by. So don't make it super long. People will probably just exit out of the page before uh, waiting for the scroll to go down. But that's it. That is how you do add the scroll and the uh, smooth scroll element to your Unbounce page. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, check out my other two videos. I'm going to link up above uh, on Facebook and Google advertising so you can learn how to start sending traffic to this page and start making money right from the pages that you create. That is all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.